Hey everybody, Tony Mejia here for Playbook Experts, playbooksports.com. It is time to preview the NBA weekend. Happy Friday, and check this out. It's uh, it's going to be a fantastic weekend in the NBA. Uh, we had a five-game slate on uh, Thursday night, and it didn't really go well. I'll, uh, I'll detail what ended up happening there, but bottom line, lost both of my NBA packages now the run is 12 and five in, uh, over the last 17, and it snapped a run of eight consecutive caches. So we're at 80% over the last 10. Uh, the uh, package with the Boston Celtics as my top play uh, was an epic failure. Really like the fact that uh, in, well, that the that Boston was going to uh, play all of its regulars. That decision came around uh, two hours before game time from Joe Missoula and company. Uh, so you had Jalen Brown, you had Jason Tatum, Christoph Porzingis, Al Horford, Derek White, all of them in the mix, but they did not show up to play. And the Knicks ran them, winning 118 to 109. And then my second package did see the Pelicans and Kings go way over the post of total. But both the Warriors and the Rockets played down to the level of competition. Houston actually lost outright to Utah, 124 to 121. And uh, the Warriors with a 100 to 92 victory in Portland in a game that uh, was really close heading into the final minute. So uh, rough night, but we'll bounce back Friday and Sunday. The NBA regular season has now seen every team reach 80 games, and we'll get 81 and 82 here Friday, Sunday. No games on Saturday. No more videos until next week where we'll preview the playoffs. Uh, so this is it, and I'll get you ready for what is on tap for Friday night and Sunday. Uh, the biggest game on Friday, I referenced it already. The Pelicans with a 135 to 123 win in Sacramento. Kings are now in a three way tie with uh, the Lakers and Warriors at 45 and 35 for seeds eight, nine, and 10 in the Western Conference. So it, it was a really a no show for Sacramento, even though they played the full 48. And uh, De'Aaron Fox and Demonis Sabonis did all that they could, but it was 34 to 11 in the first quarter. For New Orleans, after they, they they peeled off 18 consecutive points in less than three minutes, that was essentially the game. New Orleans shot 22 of 40 from three. C.J. McCollum hit nine of them. And uh, Zion Williamson uh, also had a good game, 31 points. Both of both C.J. and Zion were 31. Zion also had three steals and a block to continue his uh, run as a defensive stud, uh, which is something that he's been wanting to concentrate on. Uh, I mentioned the Rockets earlier as well. They uh, were 124-121 losers to Utah, and it was a no-show from uh, Jalen Green. So really disappointing there. It, it wasted a 42.7 rebound, seven assist night from Fred Van Bleet. Houston now must win out against Portland on Friday and the Clippers on Sunday to get to 500, which is the goal for the Rockets after they've been putrid for the last few seasons. Uh, it's definitely doable because the Clippers may not play anybody on Sunday, we'll we'll have to see how they fare tonight. Uh, Golden State, like I said, survived Portland. No Clay Thompson, no Draymond Green, but they were able to get the job done. Uh, big performance from Kevon Looney off the bench with nine points and eleven rebounds. Stephen Curry, twenty-two point seven rebounds, eight assists to lead the way. Uh, and like I mentioned, the New York Knicks beat Boston one eighteen to one oh nine. Celtics played their regulars; they didn't look like they were ready to play. Jalen Brunson scored thirty-nine. Uh, and our free play, Isaiah Hartenstein, we said he'd go over eight and a half rebounds. He had 13. So we're back on track with freebies. I'll have one at the end of this video. And uh, the final game played last night, the Bulls clinched home court in their 9-10 matchup against the Atlanta Hawks. Uh, despite no Io Desunmu or Andre Drummond, they rolled 127 to 105 against the Pistons behind 39 points from DeMar DeRozan. So the Bulls will play the Wizards tonight. Um, it, it's now uh, maintenance time for Chicago. They can't move up or down. They're the nine seed. And uh, Billy Donovan, it looks like he's going to stay put uh, unless um, he decides to do something else. But it won't be Kentucky since they hired alum Mark Pope late Thursday night to be their next head coach, uh, replacing John Calipari, who left for Arkansas. Uh, other games in the East tonight of major significance. You've got the Orlando Magic at the Philadelphia 76ers. Magic looking to clinch the Southeast division, which would um, really give them a top four seat so long as they continue to win. Uh, if they lose, we'll see what happens. 
But look, here's the deal with Orlando. They're three and seven without Franz Wagner. He is still questionable due to an ankle injury. We'll see if he suits up. If they lose this game and Miami beats Toronto, then Orlando will have to go all out on Sunday against Milwaukee to ensure that they are Southeast Division champions. If they uh, are able to win or Miami somehow loses to the Raptors and they play them twice at the Kaseya Center uh, Friday and Sunday, uh, then Orlando can probably take uh, Sunday off and coast in to the postseason. But we'll see lots to do. The, the Magic Bucks game this Sunday will either be one of the most impactful in the Eastern Conference or mean very little. And that depends on what happens tonight. The Philadelphia 76ers are going to close against the Brooklyn Nets on Sunday. But uh, if they win tonight, then they can win out and potentially reach a top six seed, which is what they're trying to do in avoiding the playing. Joel Embiid look, has looked great uh, since returning. He and Tyrese Maxey are questionable, but I think we will see them tonight against Orlando. So that's a very meaningful game going on at the Wells Fargo Arena. Another extremely important matchup in the East. You got the Pacers at the Cavs. Indy is up two to one on the season series. Games played way back in October and November. Uh, and so if they are able to beat the Cavaliers in Cleveland on Friday night, they will pass them uh, in the Central Division hierarchy. And it, it'll be that they match them in terms of record, but they'll hold tiebreaker and they'll put pressure on the Bucks. Uh, who will be without Damian Lillard tonight, it's sounding like. We'll see if Chris Middleton plays. And you know Giannis Antetokounmpo is out for the remainder of the regular season. So things could get very dicey for the Bucks, who need just one more win or a uh, Cavaliers loss to the Pacers to, uh, to be the number two seed. Now, if the Cavs win, and the Cavs win on Sunday, and they host the Hornets, so you figure that they will, the Cavs can catch the Milwaukee Bucks for the Central Division title because Cleveland uh, owns that tiebreaker or, or, or will because of a, a divisional record. So look, you've got a ton to play for in this Cavs and uh, Pacers game. Uh, the Pacers also hold a tiebreaker over the Sixers. So even if they lose, uh, they'll still be sitting pretty over Philly so long as they win on Sunday to finish top six. But um, Indy has bigger fish to fry. Again, they can't win the Central because of um, they're a little too far behind uh the uh, Bucks, but they can pass the Cavaliers and uh, improve their seeding with a victory in Cleveland, Indy's favorite, obviously. I mean, pardon me, Cleveland's favorite at home. Uh, so you've got, also got the Bucks at the Thunder. Mentioned that uh, the uh, the Thunder heavily favored because Milwaukee likely to be depleted. The, uh, Oklahoma City closes with Dallas, who is likely to rest players. The rest of the way, I think we've seen the last of Kyrie Irving this regular season. And the Mavericks may even sit uh, Luka Doncic tonight. He's listed as questionable uh, with an ankle issue. Uh, and the, the rationale behind that, even though the Mavericks can catch the Clippers and finish as the number four seed in their upcoming 4-5 matchup, it's very unlikely that the Clippers lose tonight to Utah considering Paul George is back. It's sounding like James Harden will give it a go, but we'll, we'll have to see. He's still listed as questionable. Uh, Kawhi Leonard's still out, but Utah, second night of a back-to-back. -back, they come off an upset. They're still not playing anybody. It's it's completely a youth movement. Uh, so as 15-point favorites, the, Caval the, the Clippers uh, look like they will get the win that they need to ensure that they'll be the, the number four seed in the West. Uh, the Timberwolves, they'll play the Hawks. They uh, are... are counting on the Thunder, obviously, winning this game and probably winning out. So they need to continue to, to their ascent to, to win this, uh, you know, uh, to win this contest against the Hawks and then finish ahead of the uh, the Thunder. They have identical uh, divisional records, conference records, and went two and two in the regular season. Uh, but the Timberwolves, if they win out, will be the two seed over the Thunder, who will be the three. Lakers will play the Grizzlies. Anthony Davis will be back tonight. Uh, and you've also got in really impactful games in the West. The Warriors hosting the Pelicans. You've got the top row team in the West in New Orleans playing on the second night of a back-to-back -back after the big conquest in Sacramento uh, against a Golden State team that has been vulnerable at home, which is a rarity there. But Thompson and Draymond will be back. Uh, and Golden State uh, looking to take care of business because if they do, they will at least – uh, guarantee themselves finishing uh, so long as they, they went out 
uh, finishing as the number nine seed uh, with home court in that elimination game against the Lakers. And the Kings will host the Suns. Phoenix is looking to put pressure on the Pelicans. So in their dream scenario, Golden State gives them a hand by beating the Pels tonight, and they defeat the Kings, and then therefore they move up uh, despite identical records with New Orleans. They would hold the tiebreaker. They would escape the play-in uh, temporarily and uh, head into Sunday needing just a win to finish as the number six seed. So still a ton to be deciphered in the West, and uh, our top pick for uh, the freebie uh, for Friday night. We like the Clippers laying the 15 against the Utah Jazz. LA uh, ran out of gas against Phoenix the other night using just their reserves, but uh, you know they, they really did gain some confidence with guys like uh, Bones Highland, Amir Coffey playing very well. And uh, you add Russell Westbrook to that second unit with Paul George and potentially James Harden back on that first unit. I think it'll be entirely too much for the young Jazz who are coming off a win, but still uh, throwing out guys like Samanich and uh, and uh, Hendricks, you know they're, they're young young players, um, in, in as they try to gain experience and let's face it, tank uh, uh, down the stretch. So that's where we're at, heading into Friday Sunday, a ton to be decided, uh, but you know it, it's it's going to be thrilling to see how the NBA regular season finishes out. Playing begins next week. Um, you know it, already that the Bulls and Hawks will play. We'll see who between the Kings, Warriors, and Lakers will suit up to play a winner-take-all game and start off the Western Conference portion of the postseason. Uh, visit us at playbooksports.com. Uh, all our handicappers, you know, a lot of guys doing really well. I've got a, a, a nice run going in international soccer, baseball, and obviously the NBA where I'm red hot and looking to finish strong as we head into the postseason. You can catch me at pb.buzz slash tm. There are always free plays available there. And uh, you can watch our videos next week. We'll preview the NBA playoffs in addition to giving out some baseball features uh, on our roundtable show with Mark Lawrence, Andy Isco, Jim Feist, and uh, Greg the Palm, our producer. So we're, we're kick cooking, cooking with gas. Uh, thanks for showing up at the uh, Playbook Experts YouTube channel. Please like and subscribe, and we'll continue uh, giving you great content. Uh, for Playbook Experts, I'm Tony Mejia. Great, have a great weekend, everybody.